Some alarm. That's a rough one. MSP for a flight out to PHX for a little B-I-R-D-I-N-G. Probably mainly photography. Let's be honest. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stay awake here. I got a few lifers I can get out in Southeast Arizona. Um, regular occurring species would be buff colored nightjar and thick billed kingbird. Of course, they're uh, not easy birds to get. Uh, I've got some others that are kind of on the fringe out there. Uh, Lacan's Thrasher. And then there's, oh, and Barrel and Hummingbird. But, yeah, we'll see. It's not about lifers. It's about enjoying the desert and the mountains, the islands in the sky. season and here is some of that summer monsoon okay 87 degrees down at the bottom of Mount Lemon we're gonna see what it is when we get to the top up by the ski area and the Forest Service Visitor Center Well, I'm up here on Mount Lemon. I don't know, maybe 8,000 feet or so. And uh, chasing birds around. Red-faced warbler. Ah, but I couldn't get a good photo of it. So I, that's one of my target birds. So I'm gonna try again. I'm up here in the pines. There's things like Cordillera and Flycatcher, Mountain Chickadees, uh, Pygmy Nuthatches. I, haven't, I don't have a photo of them. and. They're way, way up there. That was at the Bigelow Trail by the Paradise Ranger Station. But I spent an awesome half hour with a yellow-eyed junco who was very cooperative. So that was cool. Made it to the top of Mount Lemon, and it is 64 degrees. <laughs> at least 25 degrees cooler than at the bottom. But what a stunning view. And we're above 8,000 feet, and we're up into the fir forests, as well as the pines. I think I'm gonna head back down. Let's keep going, let's keep birding. We're here at Rose Lake Campground and we've got some at least semi-cooperative pygmy nuthatches and they are adorable. And oh, there go, there goes one, two, three, four, five, six of them. See, I didn't know they traveled in flocks like this. Adorable. Also had a western bluebird here.
Good morning, day two, Southeast Arizona, stayed in Green Valley, the best western who had breakfast starting at six, which I ran a few errands before that, but then I realized it's not your typical hotel breakfast, you gotta order off a menu and you have a waitress, etc. So maybe tomorrow I get up and go without breakfast. <laughs> So I'm heading up towards Madeira Canyon and I'm going to cut off at Box Canyon because this is the new reliable place for five striped sparrow and uh, there's been varied buntings. Um, yeah, so those are two birds I'd love to get photos of. Cloudy, it's a little bit cloudy, yeah, it might be some gaps, but uh, I think you know, the light will be better than harsh sunlight, so let's do it. Getting a little rougher. Should be around this hairpin turn. On the side of one of these steep slopes. That's their habitat. Uh, you can do this at a rental car. I got a little SUV. Check this out, very bunting. Wow. Uh, another Southeast Arizona specialty, definitely the rarest bunting. Right in front of me, right side of the closer socket to you. Oh my god, five striped sparrow, one of the rarest sparrows in North America, if not the, just landed. 20 feet away from me on the perfect perch. <laughs> Unbelievable. I wish I would have gotten a little closer, but I got 8K video and some nice photos. <laughs> I hope he comes back to this perch because it was stunning, this Acatillo uh, arching out over the canyon wash with uh, just you know nothing close in the background so he could really isolate the background, but I wasn't very close to him. Yeah, oh, I see it. Holy cow. In the last 10 minutes I've had three of the rarest birds in North America. Female Lucifer hummingbird. <laughs> See the buffiness on the flanks. Strongly decurved bill. The varied bunting put on a show a little ways away. But got some cool 8K video and some photos I hope turn out. And five striped sparrow of course. What a crazy morning here in Box Gulch. Wait, what's it called? Box Canyon. Box Canyon. Yeah, it's on eBird. Anybody can find it. And I was worried I wasn't gonna find it this morning. <laughs> and then I come around this corner, this narrow washboard canyon road, and here's three cars. <laughs> no problem. 
uh, Cassin's Kingbirds, uh, Bell's Vireo, Rufus Winged Sparrow. There's something chipping at me up here. I'm going to find out what it is. Yummy. Another chicken and cheese and mustard sandwich. I think I'll be eating about eight of these since I bought eight buns. What are you gonna do? But I got Diet Dr. Pepper and Fritos, so <laughs> we're okay. Are you kidding me? Mint drumsticks? This is the best day ever. And it's only 91 degrees. I'm up in Madeira Canyon. Had a great time. Found a trogon right off the bat. Kind of kept tabs on it for about an hour and helped some other folks get on it. And uh, thanks to D'Artagnan, too, my new friend. He uh, also helped keep tabs on it. But wow, what a what a bizarre, I mean, exotic looking bird for North America. <laughs> well, the birder is North America, which is the United States and Canada. Cool spiny lizards. I think they're Yarrow's spiny lizard. We're up here up, up outside of Madeira Canyon and looking for a trogon and I met D'Artagnan and uh, what a guy. <laughs> he helped us find the trogon and he's hikes here all the time. He's going to tell you what he did today. I can't even believe it. I'm too old to do this stuff, but okay, wait, hold on. He's going to tell us. <laughs> today I have gone all over them. I've gone to the top of the mountain. The top. Wow. Yeah. How long is this loop? I think it's in total going all the way around the mountain. It's like a 12 mile loop. We didn't do that today though. No, we did not. Okay. But... Um, I think we've only gone like <laughs> seven miles. <laughs> What did you see today? Anything interesting? Nothing that I haven't seen before. <laughs> but you found me. Uh, yeah, I did find you, uh, which was pretty cool because yeah. see a really interesting guy. Yeah, and we found a lizard. You saw, spotted a lizard. Yes, that was new. I don't usually look at lizards. And you found me a cool beetle. Yep, <laughs> it was on a wood. <laughs> and I got a photo of it. Well, nice to meet you, D'Artagnan. Good it was luck. Nice to meet you too. Well, I'm still here in Madeira Canyon. I'm up in the. Juniper area. These alligator junipers are crazy. Look at the bark on these things. Well named. Alligator juniper. These are up at elevation with sycamores and the habitat for trogons and sulfur bellied flycatchers and brown crested flycatchers, things like that. Then I had another kind of strange experience. I was sitting at a rock by a pool of water. I heard some footsteps coming. I thought, oh, other birders. And just four or five footsteps. And, and then I turned around to see who was coming and nothing there. This happened to me two years ago in Cave Creek Canyon as well. And uh, 
I don't know. Probably not Bigfoot. Probably not a Jaguar. But it was something heavy. I did have that kind of negative experience with a black bear in Cave Creek Canyon two years ago, or three years ago, uh, where he kind of hissed at me and popped his jaws, which all my encounters in Minnesota, I've never had him do that. So what was it? I don't know. Okay. I forgot that the barrel and hummingbird comes in at like 4.30 p.m. And I was way up the canyon. And that would be a lifer. So I don't even know where I am right now. So I'm trying to find my car. <laughs> and get down there. Because a lifer is a lifer. And it's a gorgeous hummingbird. I didn't know they came out in the daytime. Yeah. I think it's gonna rain. Good morning. It's day three, really full day two. And starting out the morning, 75 degrees, Green Valley AZ. I really want to see some Montezuma quail today. Got my McDonald's coffee. Maybe I shouldn't promote that, but my hotel doesn't have breakfast till 6 a.m. And who can wait that long? But like on many of these trips, you really want to be five places at once. And that's just not possible. So, you gotta pick one and go with it. Make the best of it. And we're gonna do Box Canyon again. <laughs> Starting off the morning right. I don't know if you could hear that Bottery Sparrow <laughs> singing from this Mesquite Flats by Madeira Canyon up on the way up to Box Canyon. And wow, <laughs> not a very spectacular bird, but a very cool song. Kind of ends with that accelerating bouncing ball type of song. Um, never had a photo of one before, so I'm stoked. commute. Traffic. Always traffic. I am parked along the road in Box Canyon. Uh, last night on my way out I was scouting for some blooming agave that would be below kind of or at or below eye level with a, a nice background instead of shooting up at the sky which you know you get a blue sky but you're looking up, never a great perspective. And I found this one, already had 
several hummingbirds uh, feeding on the, the flowers, the nectar. It's just started blooming. So Lucifer hummingbirds also like this. Wouldn't that be cool if a male came by? Golly, I've been sitting here like 45 minutes and you know, you have that photographer's dilemma. Uh, there's awesome light and I'm not shooting. So what am I doing here? But I'm waiting for this one shot I have in my mind of this male hooded oriole or a male Lucifer hummingbird feeding on the agave flowers. So it's like, ugh. You tough it out and wait until you get that shot and you keep going and try and actually find a subject uh, i'm gonna give it another half hour or so because the lights even already now at eight it's starting to get hot uh, but it's the photographer's dilemma well it turns out i made the right decision i stuck to my agave and look what came in a male hooded oriole now <laughs> now do I wait for a Scots oriole <laughs> but yay I'm happy but are photographers ever happy now I want a male Lucifer hummingbird with his gorget flared and iridescent purple in the sun it's not too much to ask Right in front of me, right side of the closest Akatiya. morning day three full day three and this is the day go over to Chiricahua's so uh, but before we go we gotta make another look over here for Montezuma quail and barrel and hummingbird and Lucifer hummingbird so I'm gonna hit the picnic area at Madeira or the campground Santa Rita Lodge feeders where the barrel was last seen and back up Box Canyon to my blooming agaves see if a, a male Lucifer might pop in for a little treat waiting for the barrel hummingbird again and uh, no show yet oh there's another Quatamundi hold on Well, kind of a rough morning for my target list anyway. Uh, bombed out on Barrel and Hummingbird at Santa Rita Lodge. Oh, Montezuma Quail out at 5.45 or so a.m. and no luck there as well. And then I went up to my blooming yucca for Lucifer and there's a black-chinned male that's guarding it with his life. So any other hummingbird that comes around, they are chased off. Although I might have gotten a couple nice ones. Um, 
him showing his purplish pinkish gorgette which looks nice with the agave flowers but hey you know what they say a tough day on vacation is way better than a good day at work i don't know if that's true actually not for me anyway <laughs> but uh, we're gonna keep going gonna go up over the the mountain again and head over towards the Jerkawas. <laughs> 